And then we're going to add a little bit of the Belgian ale mustard cream style. And it could just be any brown mustard you like. I just happen to have this really nice gourmet brand in here. And maybe like a teaspoon. Okay. And my special ingredient. Let me grab my little handy dandy. Handy dandy measuring spoons. And I think I'm going to put approximately a tablespoon of the Norse Vegetable Rescue Mix. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper, just a little for as much as you like to taste. Some herbs de Provence. Some dill weed. I like a lot of dill weed because fish and dill weed are so good together. And a little bit of salt. This one here is Nature's Blend. But you can use regular sea salt. I like sea salt with it as well. And then we're going to give it a good stir. Stir this up. Make it nice and creamy. Now, before we finish this, I remember I told you I had a special ingredient. And that special ingredient is the Granny Smith apple. So, we're going to take this Granny Smith apple and we're going to peel it. And I like to do it last because it turns brown. Unless you have some lemon juice you can put on it, which is fine. You can do that as well. You can use a whole apple, you can use half the apple. Out. We're going to use just half, half the apple. Okay, so I'm going to my knife. Alright. Chop up the apple. Now the apple makes a nice, sweet, tangy taste for your tuna salad. And it's a nice surprise and it's very nutritious. So, you know, try it and let me know what you think. Leave, let me know later if you like it, you know, and I can um, continue making this delicious too. It's okay if you have a little bit of the peel in there as well. I just like to take some of it off. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that. Now, now we're gonna incorporate it. See, now it stayed nice and fresh looking because I did it last. You don't want to do it ahead of time unless you're going to get some good old lemon juice on it to keep it from browning. All right, that looks delicious. And again, if you want it creamier, you can uh, add a little more, a little more mayonnaise to it. Or if you don't like mayo, you can always do a vegan style, which maybe one day I'll do a video on that as well. Okay, now what we're going to do one more thing is I like it a little bit spicy, so I'm going to go over here to my cabinet and I'm going to add in a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. Now, I put in the jalapeno peppers, but I like the Old Bay seasoning because it adds another layer of kick. Plus, it makes it pretty. Alright, so I'm going to add that in. Okay, so let's give this a quick taste. Mmm. I got that apple. I got the celery. Mmm, I got the jalapeno pepper. Delicious. Now, let's move this out of the way. For a healthy presentation, we want to go ahead and use, we have some brown rice crackers, salt-free. And you can go ahead and layer these on top. You can make little sandwiches out of them, or you can make just small you know, as a carrier, it's fine. Let me try that. And let me show you how we can set this up. Get a little bit of tuna on the cracker this way. And then we can add the top and get a cute little sandwich. I think the kids would even like it. Okay, or you can just have it flat open. And just have it as a nice little rice cake. Just like so. You could do it this way. As well. So there's two ways there. You could add a little bit of microgreen. You want to add a little bit of microgreens on top of your tuna for a little more healthy uh, crunch. And then have it like a little small salad with your tuna. Okay. And you can also actually put it inside of your sandwich as well. Let's do that. Put it inside. Put that on top. Let's turn it this way so you can see. Okay. Now, 
The other thing I like to do, and I know this is kind of unusual, is put a little bit of tuna in between a biscuit. I made these the other day, little small mini biscuits. So I'll go ahead and add a little tuna in between my little biscuit here. That also makes for a good, nice omousse bouche, which is a small bite. <laughs> okay, like that. All right. And there you have it. A little vegetable seasoned tuna salad on some rice cracker and biscuits. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. See you later. Chef Jacqueline.